Hi, in one of my last videos I showed you how to remesh a STL file using hypermesh. However, there are some caveats in the process that I showed you in the last video. Specifically, if you want to remesh a file with low wall angles, then there is a problem. In today's video, I will show you how to circumvent the problem and still be able to remesh the STL file. Okay, so let's begin. So we go into import solver deck, just like the last time. Go into the desktop and get our file. So this is a file where the rule surface has wall angle of 15 degrees so it has a low slope in the portion of the rule surface and this is our part let's take a closer look at the part so as you can see the part has a really low slope Now let's try to remesh it. If I go into auto mesh, and select all elements, and mesh them all, you can see that all the elements get meshed at once. However, there are errors in this meshing process. So you can see along these edge lines here there are errors. So the meshing has not gone as we would expect it to. And this remeshing is not really acceptable. So what do we do? Well, we adopt another strategy to carry out this meshing. Before we move out, you can see the errors along these edge lines that lead from the rule surface to the edge of the plane on top. So let's start a new project. Import this file once again. Now we are going to do a three stage remeshing procedure which will enable us to get a refined mesh. To do that, first what we need to do is to create a surface out of the top surface and delete it. And likewise we need to create a surface out of the bottom surface and delete it. And then when we then we will be able to create a surface out of the rule surface and then when we remesh the whole area we will get a good mesh. So let's go about doing this. So we go into geometry, click on surfaces and follow the procedure that I showed you in the last video which is to select one element click on on plane select a point say select entities and say create so now we have a surface created for the top plane likewise we want a surface created for the bottom plane so we choose one element and we say on plane choose a point select entities and say create so bottom plane is created now now what we can do is delete the top and the bottom planes so to do that we click on surfaces and say 
F2. Click on F2. Select the element and say on plane. Select a point. Say select entities and delete entities. So that deletes our top plane. Now we need to do the same for the bottom plane. Surfaces and we click on F2. Choose one element. Then select on plane. Click on a point. Select entities and delete entities. Right. So now we have deleted the top plane and the bottom plane. So now what we can do is create a surface out of the middle rule surface. And to do that, we click on elements, say displayed, and say create. And it has created a surface. And you can see on the bottom left of the screen here it says surface creation completed now we return back so now we have three surfaces one surface is for the top of the part the one surface is the bottom plane of the part and the third surface is the rule surface in between so now we have three surfaces and we can go about remeshing these surfaces now we go into 2d mode go to auto mesh and click on surfaces you can say all surfaces and we can choose our element size keep the mesh type to triangles and say mesh now when I say mesh you can see that there are no errors in terms of the edges connecting the rule surface to the plane. If I click on return, you'll see that the remesh surface does not have any errors. So, in this region connecting the rule surface to the edge, there are four such regions. You don't see the errors which you saw in the previous example. Now we can go ahead and save this file, click on export solver deck, give it a name, remeshed, low, wall, angle, And let's draft and click on export so this is how we remesh a STL file which has low wall angles and where there are errors during the meshing process if we try to mesh them without creating surfaces all right I hope this will uh, help you in addition to the previous video to get two distinct methods of remeshing STL files which cover almost all the different problems that you'll encounter during remeshing STL files and I hope you learned something from this video if you have any questions you can always get back to me at my website URL which is given below alright thank you very much for listening and I hope you enjoyed this video